Apple Motion has five major components. First, let's start with the utility window. You'll see that it has three tabs. The file browser allows you to ingest media into Motion. I'll grab a clip here and throw it into the canvas window. The library is where you'll access all the content that Motion generates. To demonstrate, I'll grab a particle and move it into the canvas window. The inspector is where you'll make adjustments to the content, so I'll make a quick change to the color of the aurora particle. And of course, you'll see all this content and changes that you make within the large canvas window. The third main component contains the toolbar which provides an easy way to create and edit elements within the canvas window, such as text and shapes. The toolbar also has buttons for replicating objects, along with the ability to add particles, filters, and behaviors. And finally, there's a camera button. To demonstrate, I'll add a camera and make a few adjustments. The next main window is called the Project Pane, which is activated by navigating to the Window menu. Its main purpose is to show you all the layers and associated content within your project. The last main window is called the Timing Pane, which is also activated by navigating to the Windows menu. It is similar to the Timeline window within Final Cut Pro. It provides a visual reference for elements in time. This short tutorial is designed to complement a series of video tutorials from Genius TV. You can view the master tutorials by visiting GeniusDV.com and clicking on the Tutorials menu to access our rental videos.